In today's video, we're going to go over one of the best new Pokemon that you can trade from Pokemon Home into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet to farm six star terror raids in your game super easy. So here on the channel, we've already covered a bunch of really good solo builds for going in and beating six star terror raids in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And six star terror raids are super important for not only farming Herba Mystica, level up candies and terror shards, but they also give you the ability to go in and catch pretty exclusive Pokemon with various different terror types. Now the builds that we have featured on the channel before have been great but it does mean that you're going to have to put a lot of time and resources into building these Pokemon to be able to kind of go out and beat a variety of different terror type Pokemon. But we have a new Pokemon featured and you might have already guessed it from the thumbnail of today's video. But one Pokemon that you can trade in now does do this job really effectively and you don't really need to go around changing different Pokemon because it has a great ability that allows it to kind of change its type depending on what the raid boss is that you're going up against. And that's right, the Pokemon that is on the thumbnail is Arceus and that is the Pokemon that we're going to be featuring in today's video and the build for going up against 6 star terror raids no matter what terror type they are and beating them pretty easily solo in your game. Game. So Arceus is a very powerful Pokemon. It is a normal type Pokemon at its base. It does have the ability multi-type, which is pretty unique to this Pokemon. And what it does, is it allows Arceus to change its type depending on one of 17 different plates that are available in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The blank plate isn't available. So in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, you just need to take the plate off it and it'll revert back to its normal type. But there are 17 other plates that you can get access to in your game and depending on the plate will depend on the type of Arceus that you have. So if you give it the Draco plate, it will turn into a dragon type Pokemon. If you give it the Dread plate, it'll turn into a dog type Pokemon. And I'm sure after those two examples, you get the idea of it. On top of that, it also gets the signature attack Judgment. So Judgment kind of plays off the plate that you're holding and the type that you are. So whatever type you are, Judgment becomes that type. Like again, if you give it the Draco plate and become a dragon type Pokemon, then Judgment will be a dragon type move. And the same goes if you give it the Dread plate, become a dark type Pokemon, Judgment then becomes a dark type move. So depending on what plate you give it, Judgment will be the exact same move as the type of Arceus that you are running at the time. And being a legendary Pokemon, it is pretty strong. And not only that, it is very exclusive. It's very difficult to get Arceus. There have been a bunch of events over the years for Arceus. So if you were ever lucky enough to take part in one of these mystery gift events and get it in one of your old generation games, then that is great. An Arceus that I've actually got on my Scarlet and Violet is this one right here which was from the Arceus uh, the Jewel of Life movie promo gift that came out in the UK around 2010 which I had on my pearl cartridge and I managed to actually trade it over into black and white then into Pokemon Bank then into Pokemon Home and then into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet so I managed to trade it all the way up from Pokemon Pearl which is pretty nice so I've got this in my game now so the other methods currently how you can obtain Arceus in game is through the game Pokemon Legends Arceus. If you complete all of the missions in that game, you'll be able to battle Arceus at the end of the game, the post game, and then you'll be able to add it to your party. And the other way is through BDSP, so Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl. The caveat to that is to access Arceus in that game, you're gonna have to complete and beat Arceus in Pokemon Legends Arceus and do it on the same system. So the save data is present on the Switch that you're playing Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl on. If you complete all the missions in Pokemon Legends Arceus and go into Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl and then go into your room, you'll find the Azure Flute and then you'll be able to battle Arceus at the top of Mount Coronet and you can even shiny hunt for it. So that is two ways to get it, but you have to have other games to actually get it if you missed any of the mystery gifts that have been in the past. So in game, the build that we've got for Arceus is at the moment just ignore the plate that we've got attached to it. It is currently holding the splash plate, so it is a water type Arceus at the moment. Its terror typing is normal. Now, based on its ability multi-type and the fact that you can just change its typing whenever you want, I'm gonna leave the terror typing completely null and void. So I don't think the terror typing matters at all for this build. So we'll get back to the plates and the held items in a moment and we'll focus in on the set. So the set that we're running on Arceus is Recover, Calm Mind, Acid Spray and Judgment. We have an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 Special Attack with a Modest Nature 
and the rest dumped into defense. Obviously the ability multi-type in there. And we went for this specific EV spread. So we're maximizing our attack power through our special attack. Judgment is a special type attack. And also because we'll be going up against a variety of different six star terror raid Pokemon, we're just maximizing our longevity through HP because we don't know if we're gonna come up against predominantly special or physical attackers. So just bulking out in that HP kind of gives us a nice balance for both offensive types. So the basic premise of this moveset is you're gonna start off by using Acid Spray. So Acid Spray, every time you hit the Terror Boss with it, will reduce its special defense by two stages. You wanna use this three times and it'll reduce the special defense on the target Pokemon to minus six. Then after you've hit three Acid Sprays, then go for two to three Calm Minds. Every time you use Calm Mind, it'll boost your special attack and special defense by one stage. You don't really need to go any further than that. If you want to, after the third Calm Mind, you can go for an all out attack cheer just to maximize your damage. But at that stage, because of your type advantage that you have against the Terror Raid Pokemon, most of the time you're gonna be knocking it out or if not, you're gonna be very close to knocking it out anyway. And then in between all of this setup, just use Recover as and when you need to so you can stay on the field and you don't have to set your Calm Minds up again. Beware though that in all six star Terror Raids, there will be a point in those raids where your stats will get nullified or the target Pokemon stat drops will be nullified. So you might have to reuse those Acid Sprays three more times or set up your Calm Minds another two to three times before you can start attacking and doing some big damage but like i said just utilize that recover as and when you need to through all of these stat nullifications throughout the battle so you can just stay on the field for as long as possible and like i said with the bulk that arceus has got you're gonna have no trouble doing this at all so when you are going in against six star terror is we've got one right here i know it is a fairy type raid and uh, we can have a quick look at it I will just move my camera. You can see that it is a fairy raid. So there's a back Scalabas. So what we want to do is pick something that's good against fairy types. And that would be steel types really, which is actually quite fitting for the base Pokemon as well. Cause we have to keep in mind when we're going up against six star terror raid Pokemon, like back Scalabar, it's going to have access to dragon and ice type moves, which are its base typing. So we want to pick a type that kind of complements the terror typing that we're going up against. So we can hit that for super effective damage and we also can pick a typing, if possible, that's gonna kind of resist the base attacks coming out from the target Pokemon or the raid boss. So like I mentioned for this one, a steel type seems like the best option because steel resists dragon and it resists ice and it hits fairy for super effective damage. So we can go to the iron plate here. We can just give it to Arceus as its held item. And once you do that, you'll see an animation will happen where Arceus will change from its current type into that new type depending on what plate you give it. Now to get the plates in the game, all you need to do once you've traded Arceus over to your copy of Scarlet and Violet from Pokemon Home, you need to visit Porto Maranada and head to the auction house. Now it will not be the regular auctioneers that you'll be visiting, but there will be another NPC character which will appear when you go into the auction house. And it'll be this lady right here, and she will have each and every one of the 17 plates available for you to buy. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to go through each one of these plates one by one. So just make sure that you've got a bunch of money and a bit of time set aside because it will take a little bit of time to go through each plate to get them and win all of the auctions for these plates. But once you've got them, you're gonna have all 17 plates available to use and utilize on Arceus going forward. But once you've had a look at the six star terror raid and you've figured out what plate you want on your Arceus, then you just need to go into the battle and we will go through exactly how the moveset works and how easy it is to take down some of the stronger terror raids in the game. Okay, when we come into the battle here, you can see it's starting up. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is use that acid spray and then continue to use acid spray for another two times to reduce that special defense on the raid boss by minus six. It's two stages every time you use it. So you can see there we do reduce it by one this time around and we take the big attack coming out from the terror boss pretty easily. So we can just continue to use this for another two times. There's number two and number three here. So there's a the special defense dropping, minimizing the special defense stat on the back Scalibur now. You can see here that the back Scalibur is minus six special defense at the moment. So what we can do is go for a few calm mines now. We wanna try and get like two to three off, like I said in the preview of the moveset. Okay, there's number two. So this is the second calm mind. 
And just bear in mind as well that there might be a stage in the battle where you do get your stats nullified or they remove stats from their side of the field. As long as you're trying or getting possibly an attack off before they do remove or nullify anything, then that's always kind of worth your while with the setup, of course. We're plus two at the moment. So you can see here, we got plus two special attack. They are minus six. We'll throw out a judgment right now and see how much it does behind the shield. So bear in mind, the shield is up but we still do some decent damage and it's only going to take a couple more. There we go, the Backscaler negated all of the effects affecting its side of the field. So we just need to continue now and go for three more Acid Sprays. Here there's number three and you can see here because we've picked a really optimal type to go in against this Backscaler, especially considering its terror typing as well, we're not taking very much damage from it at all. Like we've got a really good type advantage. Now it is hitting us with body presses, it's the best option that it's got against us, but but still, because of the sheer bulk that we've got on our case, we take it really, really comfortably. So we're set up again. We've still got that plus two in our special attack, so we'll be able to get decent damage off. We break the shield there, and the next one that we do hit into this back scala will be, be enough to take it down and finish off the raid. And you can see by the raid timer here, we've got really good time on this. Uh, we're just over halfway, so it hasn't taken too long to do this at all. And you can see now we can just lock in with that final judgment and this will be enough to take down this pretty strong pseudo legendary Pokemon in a six star terror raid. And it's literally as easy as that. You just need to kind of rinse and repeat the kind of formula that we're using in these raids. Now, there will be issues where you come up against a steel terror type Pokemon and you're not gonna be able to use the acid spray because acid spray is a poison type attack and yes, it's not gonna be effective against the steel type Pokemon because of that immunity. In that sort of scenario, just rely more on your Calm Minds than you do on the Acid Sprays. You can still boost yourself up to plus six special attack and then kind of fire off attacks from there. Preferably in that situation, you're gonna have the ground plate on it or the fighting type plate on it to maximize your ability to hit it for super effective damage. So when you've come out of the Terror Raid, just for instance, we can come onto the map and we wanna regenerate another six star Terror Raid because that's the idea. We're farming six star raids with this Pokemon. So once your map's open, hit your home menu, then come down to your system settings, then down into system, then down into date and time. Make sure your synchronized clock via the internet is set to off. Then come into date and time, just click A into this option and then toggle through each of the options here. Don't change anything until you get to the OK and then hit A on the OK and then back into your home menu and then back into the game and you'll see all the dens will respawn and the six star den will respawn again because you're only get one you're only gonna get one of those per day and all you need to do is locate it just right there and then head over to it and start the process again and once you locate the next six star terror raid you just want to click into it see what the pokemon is it is size lazar here and it is a dark type pokemon you can see here that it is that dark type. So you want a typing that's gonna be super effective against this dark typing, and you pick the respected plate to change your Arcus into that typing. Now, it is a dragon type and it's base, so it's gonna have dragon type attacks, and it is a dark type, so a fairy type would make more sense than anything else going into this raid. The pixie plate, for some reason, is way further down in your bag than any of the other items. As you can see, it's not with the rest of them. So we wanna just give this pixie plate to Arcus, and once we switch it over with the iron plate, we can see we'll change into a fairy type Arceus and we are all set to go into this raid and we can just repeat the process that we've done before using the same method with those acid sprays, with those calm mines, and then just spamming judgment to run through these raids, super easy. And we're not fully powered up, but let's see what the damage is. Ooh, very close there's some big damage for us so that is everything for today's video friends i hope you found this guide useful and if you are using arceus and this specific build do let me know down in the comment section below and also if you've got your preferred or favorite pokemon that you've traded in from pokemon home to scarlet and violet and you're using that to run through the six star terror raids in game at the moment while we wait for those seven star terror raids to return next week i would love to hear what you've been using thank you so much for tuning in if you have found it useful please drop a like do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our pokemon scarlet and violet content and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye